Do you think that the refs are in cahoots with the Leafs trying to get them a uh, power play every now and again? Um, it's hard to say if it's like a legit operative conspiracy and there's an actual like command that comes down from the top. I think some of it happens naturally. And, I, and there's a reason that I think, yes, you could say it's true for the Leafs. I understand it's a frustrating loss for the Flames fans, but I think it's it's a, we, a league-wide thing. I don't think it's specific to Toronto. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there can't be a conspiracy, right? I, you always watch these recap videos of people. Oh, it's it's a rigged game. This is why the NFL is not real and it's fake. And they say it about the NHL. I I played in the NHL. I had never once seen a referee so egregiously call a penalty for another team over and over and over again. Referees are human. They're influenced. So whether it was Daryl Sutter just being on the referees all night or a certain player or the fans in the crowd booing him when they call a penalty for, you know, the Calgary flames and they're reacting and saying, you know, what, in the back of their head, maybe we should call one for Toronto. We got to, we got to even this up. Well, that's the thing. Go, go ahead. That's, that's a loaded statement. You just said, cause what you're talking about, this is what Tim Peel got in trouble for and hit why his career ended a little bit early. Cause you're the refs controlling the game through the way they call penalties and the idea of a makeup call, for example, we're like, okay, we've called three in a row against the flame. Now we, now we owe them one, no matter what happens on the ice, they're already thinking about how they can even it up. Or say you have a, a, a goal that gets disallowed that shouldn't have, or a penalty that was questionable. You know, the next call that could go either way is going to go in their favor to quote unquote, even it out. And that's a lot of people take issue with that. 